What's up all you cool snakes and neonates, how's it going? It's actually growing really, really rapidly. Um, so much so, we upgraded her from that to a viv down there. So we're going to have a little look at the progress on that, aren't we, sweetie? Yes, we are. Here's your goat. Here's your goat. She is cute. So, what are we going to do today? We're going to feed a spider. We're going to put milkshake into our new home. Um, We'll see, that's what I've got in there footage-wise, if I can fit more in, or um, if that'll do. I just wanted to take a moment, because we've got a steady sort of trickle of subscribers coming in just now, guys. And that's amazing. That is absolutely awesome. Thank you very much for that. Every day I check, there's one or two new subscribers. And we're not actually losing that many either anymore. There was a sort of very short period where there was like, we'd gain one, lose one, gain one, lose one. And I was like, come on, are we going to get more or what? And um, as I said before, we're going to do a little giveaway, just a little giveaway when we hit 500 subscribers. It'll not be much, maybe a, a card or a bit of a uh, snake skin with some stickers. There's a couple of people I've talked about donating some money to put into like a piggy bank for the giveaway, that kind of thing. But yeah, thank you very much. Every one of you guys that subscribed, you may think to yourself, I'm just one person, but... You know, I'll throw them a subscription. Every one subscriber adds up, and especially at this point, it's um. <laughs> you got a weird fascination with my face, haven't you? Hmm? Mordecai does that too. But it's absolutely fantastic, guys. It is really cool. Thank you so much for every subscriber that comes in, every like that I get, all you guys now that are like commenting on every video. You're just an awesome bunch. I can't thank you all enough. you it's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. So, I said in the last video, guess what those mystery eggs were? And Russell got it right. He was right with both. We've got Indian stick insects and black beauty stick insects waiting to hatch. Now, I've been doing a bit of research and apparently they can be housed together with success. So, I think when they all hatch, if they all hatch, we've had one hatch and that's this little dude here he hatched before the rest of them. Love and light, look at him go. We actually had one that came with them that was open, but he was a bit mangled up with the uh, transportation and he didn't make it unfortunately. Yeah, so that's the stick insects that we have. So we're going to wait for all of the ha eggs to hatch. And then I'm probably going to build them some sort of larger exoterra or something like that. Some nice little branches and things in there. Because both the black beauties and the Indians eat privet. And um, apparently they are okay to have together. So that's what we are going to do, guys. And the Indians will be used for the kids' parties and stuff like that when they're old enough and big enough. Which is going to be pretty cool. Another little addition to our exotic army. So speaking of insects, let's go and feed... Evie the P. regalis. So, I was working on Hunter's Viv. Every now and then I sort of rehydrate the Viv and I take all the substrate and I put water through them and stuff like that. And there was a knock at the door. And then, um, yeah, I was like, Amazon parcel. I didn't order anything from Amazon. And then in comes this parcel here, huge box, typical of Amazon, and this is all that was in it. So there's a little note in it from Max, hope this brightens the critter's day from Max. I wasn't expecting any presents or gifts from you guys, and look, Max sent us out, because we were talking the other day and I was saying I could do with some lights, and he sent out a couple of um, grow lights, um, LED grow lights. Um, so I'm going to put these... Um, Milkshake's new viv that I'm building for her, I'm building up for her, and I notice it splits in two, and if it's going to split enough, I'll put this upstairs, and I'll put one in 
um, milkshakes and I'll put one um, Yoshi the Leopard Gecko because they're directly um, on top and underneath each other. So yeah, let's go and fire these bad boys up and um, see how we get on. But thank you very much Max for that, that is hugely appreciated. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Guys, head over to Max's um, Facebook page, he does a, a Highland sort of reptile page or exotic animal page. Um, Go and like that page and leave Max an awesome kind um, kind word from Reptile Rich. Say thank you very much for the for the gift because that is absolutely amazing. It really took me back and I was welling up a little bit when I opened the box. I was like, oh, someone's buying me presents for the animals. It's amazing. So yeah, thank you very much, Max. It's hugely appreciated, buddy. <laughs> She's like doubled in size in like two weeks of however long we've had her. It's ridiculous. I remember when I put her in that and I portioned it in half because I thought she was gonna it was gonna be too big for her. Now look at her, she stretches out all the way but like along the edge. Come on, are you gonna do it for dad? Are you gonna perform? Nope, here. No, she's not gonna do it. So I don't like these things. Like they're okay for a temporary vev and all that stuff. But you guys know me. I like to make them a lot more naturalistic and a lot more um Pretty, you know, a lot more better for the animals and better for people coming in the house and go, wow, that looks like a zoo, you know, that looks amazing. And I love to give the animals something to be enriched with and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, that was fine for her until she got to size, but as you can see now, she's getting up to a good size. I've got a spare two foot, it's, it's a wee bit bigger than this one, but of course it's taller. So I've spent the day sort of building that up, screwing and bolting bits of wood and decorating it, making it all nice, giving her places to climb because these guys are very active so I want to give her room to climb and exercise on. Plenty of hides because of course it's bigger and taller than that and she's just an echo baby so um, she'll uh, have plenty of sort of hiding spots and things like that. So yeah, let's um, pull her out of here and put her in there. Colour contrast of her. And she's never been in a cocoa bedding, so she's settling into this cocoa bedding. I'm told they can still burrow in the cocoa bedding. I was going to use the aspen, but I prefer the cocoa bedding for visuals and it's just better for humidity and things, helps snakes with shade. Don't go straight in the hide. But look at the contrast of her colour on that darker bedding. She's getting long when she stretches all the way up. Isn't that cool? We've had more hatchings. Take a look at this. This is awesome. So you can see the little Indian stick insect. They're doing his little dance. He's like doing a little dance, spin a little flow. So they do that in the wild to imitate the wind, the swaying in the wind. So they look more like sticks, living up to the name there of stick insect. Sometimes you give them a little blow, a lens to get them to do it. And you can see underneath. So that's the Indian stick insect up top. And you can see underneath, we have a Black Beauty baby that has hatched. If we can get it to focus in, there we go. The size difference between the two is crazy. Um, the Indian's grown quite a bit. But the, uh, the Black Beauty sort of hatches out that size. The Black Beauty hatches out huge. The Indians are absolutely tiny. But I've done a lot of research. And everywhere I look, um, seems that people can keep them two different species together and very successfully so that's pretty good from what i can gather as long as it's not like a leaf shaped stick insect um it'll be okay because of course they eat the leaves so i think that they can mistake the leaf shaped stick insects for leaves and give them a nip and stuff from what i've gathered anyway i'm no expert on this kind of thing but i've done a quite a bit of research and um, yeah, the Indian stick insects seem to be pretty good with the black beauties. So we're just going to keep them together once the rest of the eggs hatch and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, keep us, we'll, we'll keep you all posted. And um, this will tell you for sure if the black beauties can be housed with the Indians. But so far, they seem pretty good together. So that is amazing. That's awesome. And these little guys are the first to hatch out of both the clutches. So um, it's nice to have them keeping each other company too. And the only risk you get is the black beauties can secrete a like a, a stinky sort of substance um, 
So if they, they're a little bit more flighty, they're a little bit more scaredy. But um, they seem to be really doing really good together. This is like their second day together or something like that. Or I think it was yesterday I put them in together. Today everything's still going fine. They're still eating. They're perfectly fine together. So that is awesome. So I hope you've all enjoyed that. As always, like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Don't forget to share the videos around. Tell your friends. Spread the word because, like I said, you guys are doing really well with all that stuff. Helping me out. It's absolutely fantastic. So take it easy, guys. And me and Milkshake here, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.